those of you who heard, welcome back to Paper Mario, the Origami King. In the last episode, we went through the Temple of Shrooms and defeated the Paper Hole Punch boss fight. It was quite an interesting one. Uh, now we're going to uh, just move forward and find out what we can do next. Of course, we still have the professor with us, so maybe there's more exploring we can do in the desert. I know that now the sun is back. That one little sun temple is open. So, like, what will that lead to? What more can we get done around here? I'm not really sure. There might be more we can accomplish before we move on to our next uh, thing. But yeah, it's so cool seeing the desert out here like this now. I wonder if we can get more coins out of this. Oh, it's quite a lot, that's for sure. Good couple hundred of them right there. So yeah, that's definitely something we'll look around for, but it is admittedly a bit more tough to find that stuff. Um, it's just, when it's shining in the light like this, uh, Professor, how was it inside of the cactus? I think we've heard him talk about that before, so I'm not too interested. Uh, but maybe we'll go back to Shroom City as well. That'd be cool. But yeah, the desert, it just, it looks different and the same at the same time, you know what I mean? Anyways, let's go down here. Oh, I keep hitting the wall. This should be where the little sun shrine was. There I dream to meet a real ancient one. Whoa, we got a giant Koopa out here too. What's up with that? Not quite sure, but I guess the desert will become a more dangerous place, just as I suspected. Look at this, you two. The altar has opened up to reveal some kind of entrance. This may contain what I have been seeking, proof of the ancient ones themselves. Wow. Yes, it all makes sense now. You performed the ceremony with the sun incense. But the sun itself was missing. Now that it has returned, the path inside has revealed itself. Oh ho, wait until they hear about this back at the university. I expect registration for my spring semester courses will be, will be at an all time high. I'm not sure what the professor is talking about, but I'm sure glad he's so happy. Oh well, it's all thanks to you two, of course. This may have remained sealed forever if you hadn't been able to return the sun to the sky. Now then, let's hurry inside. I'm certain we'll find even more to celebrate, perhaps even a solid lead on the legendary Captain Toad himself. Is it really gonna be Captain Toad like from the game? I don't know, that'd be so weird because I don't think he's been in a Paper Mario game before. I guess we'll find out. Whoa, this is spooky already. It's a pretty long staircase, but I wonder how far it goes on. Not too much farther. Hey guys, is it absolutely freezing in here or is it just me? I thought we restored the sun. Why is it so chilly in here? Ah, I can explain. Although we are in the desert, we have now descended below its surface where the sun's warming rays cannot reach us. Actually, the mere lack of sunlight cannot explain this degree of chill. I retract my exp explanation. My word, what in the name of peer reviewed study is that? Whoa, bunch of fridges. It's ice, a huge chunk. That's why it's so cold, Professor. I get it now. Look at this. The refrigerator technology on display is more sophisticated than I could have ever imagined. Oh, there's a toad in there. Mother of graduate students. There's someone in there. Hmm, judging by the distinctive red spots in that unmistakable cloak, could it be? Captain Teod himself. He's really real. There is no mere clue, it's the real deal. I must excavate the site and save him immediately. Can I help? I will free Captain Teod even if it takes me a thousand years with this shovel. Oh, you know what? I'm sure we can use the fire of elemental to help. Is this a big frozen piece of meat? Aha, here we go, right over here. Looks like it. Well, before we do that, is there anything else? I don't know, it's saying that there's like either, I think a hidden collectible treasure. So let's figure this out, Velmental Power. Here we go. So this will be fascinating. We'll be able to melt Captain Toad. I'm guessing it's supposed to be Captain Toad, you know? But this definitely doesn't look like Captain Toad. So it's probably just a different character. I don't know, it's weird. Either way, Olivia will save him. Even if it was just a normal toad, I'd want to help, so. There we go. It looks very serious. Oh, yikes, are you okay? Maybe we burn a little too much. He's not moving. Oh, I hope he can be revived. 
Maybe he's just stiff from being frozen for so long, poor guy. Should I try heating him up with the fire again? That won't be necessary. Burn not paper with fire, lest you yourself become singed. He's alive and he speaks the same language as us, kind of. Allow me to introduce myself. I am indeed the Toad, known as Ode. Captain T. Ode, to be precise. Are you a pirate? That's a pirate coat. Okay, that's so cool. So he's Captain T. Ode. I have survived an interminable passage of eons here in this Arctic prison. Now, I am free. Captain T. Ode? Of course, Mario Olivia. I think he means Captain T. Ode. I get it now. At last, I can finally say I've met a real ancient one myself. Now then, don't down to serious academic business. There is a simple question that has plagued researchers and archaeologists for some time immemorial. Now, in this historic moment, I have the opportunity to go directly to the source. What an occasion. Oh, Captain, my Captain, we have studied the diet of the ancients based on artifacts and oral traditions in the region. But there is one thing that is, has us completely stumped. How did you take your coffee? Cream and three sugars. Three sugars? It's beyond my wildest imagination. What a breakthrough, your ancient ones. You ancient ones have probably forgotten more about coffee than we will ever know. My work here is done. Wow, coffee with three sugars. You must really like sugar. How interesting. Oh, I guess it's not that interesting. I don't even drink coffee. Anyway, why do you seem so sad, Mr. Captain? Is it because you were frozen or did something else happen to you? In this moment, I am as a bird in a cage. I yearn to sail free at the helm of my merino, underneath the great cresting waves. Did you say merino? Do you know about the super merino? That's so weird, how did you get to the musee already? So my merino rests in a musee, as you call it. It is no place for her adventurous spirit. She yearns to break free. So yeah, the big submarine in the, in the museum. You have my thanks, strange one. I know what I must do. All right, well, see ya. <laughs> I like how he walked. Oh, okay. I wonder if he's headed to the musee. He sure seems to care about the merino. It was hard for me to understand anything he was saying. I guess it's ancient language for you. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt, but I haven't made an archeological discovery in over five minutes. I'm just kidding, a little academic humor. <laughs> Thank you both for all of your help. You've made my dream come true. No, we should be thanking you. You were such a big help to the desert in the, in the desert, Professor. So, thank you. Now then, should we head out and try to find the next streamer? Oh, what's all this about purple streamer in the Great Sea? What's the Great Sea? Where is it? Maybe someone back in Toad Town will know. Should we go there? I guess so. And you're still with us. Toad's rescued in Scorching Sandpaper Desert is 100%, but as you can see, there's still question blocks and the collectible treasure. So where is the collectible treasure? I have to imagine this box is so peculiar. How can I get up on it? Maybe I was supposed to hop on top of something or other? Let's head back to Toad Town so we can set sail on the Great Sea and follow the purple streamer. Once again, I would love to, but first, I know, hold on. Uh, maybe we can find a question block around instead. There's definitely a question block around. And I think it's on top of this box. So that's so weird. Maybe I have to come back and hop on top of those pots I destroyed. Very odd. It really wants me to find it and I really want to find it, but I just don't quite know what I'm supposed to do. Aha, there it is. Awesome. And then there's another one. And there's a collectible treasure. Hooray!
Yay, number 64, Temple of Shroom Statues. So there we go, I think this area is completed. And that's something I've been trying to keep track of is how many areas we're completing, because we've been doing pretty good. We got Sweet Paper Valley, Breezy Tunnel, Scorching Sandpaper Desert, Scorching Sandpaper Miner, we still have a collectible treasure, and score these two we got done, and then Shroom City, we have a lot of work. And then Far West still has another collectible treasure, so like, I wouldn't mind running through and trying to look for those now. I mean, maybe I should save it for later anyways, if we're gonna have to swing back ba in basically every area. Maybe not worth entirely worrying about, but I do want to at least go to Shroom City and hope that there's been more opened up there. Wow, look at it now. I love it. You'll have to use the boots uh, on your feet to get around this town, Mario. No vehicles allowed. So now there's just a bunch of toads everywhere that I guess we can talk to, and the music's a little different too. Looking for Scorch and Sandpaper Far East? It's uh, further east. Looking for Scorching Sandpaper Far West? It's uh, farther west. All right, well, that's good to know. But I definitely want to look around this area a little bit and just sort of figure out what more we might be able to do. Welcome to Shroom City, previously known as Sniff City, previously known as Shroom City. These toads aren't so bad, I guess. They've accepted our sniffly ways. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah, the Sniffits came in and, in and pretty much took over. But to be honest, we weren't really doing much with the place anyway. It seems like you guys got a lot going on now. That's great. Can I talk to them? No, okay. So I guess there's not too much I can do with that. That's fine. Oh wow, this whole place has been cleared out. Oof, I moved here for the climate back when the sun was gone. Why would you move somewhere based on the potentially temporary climate? A new shipment of accessories is on the way. Come back soon, bring coins. Really, because you still had stuff I thought I could buy. Oh, here's a bunch of toads that need help. Oh my goodness. They're not happy. Woo, it's almost recycling day. Don't wanna miss that. And as you can see, we can also fill this up a little bit. And there we go, all the not bottomless holes in Shroom City have been figured out. I'll just wait here. Oh, it's another cafe spot, that's always good. Oh wow, I haven't seen either of these guys. Oh, it's the, the sombrero shy guy. Hey. So he's not much for conversation, neither of these guys are. Well, let's go grab a drink. Shy oh my and hi hi hi, what it'll be amigo. Some burrow blend. Mmm. Shy oh my, we're the singing cafe. We love to jam, so let's partay. Oh yeah, come on. They're moving. <laughs> well, I'm glad Mario is enjoying his drink. They really are getting into it. I love it. All right, well, cool. I'll let them jam out. Very musical cafe. But there's still other parts of this city to explore, even if we got all the uh, not bottomless holes figured out. Uh, with all those toads saved, how close are we? 91%, we still have to find half the collectible treasures and a good chunk of the question blocks. I have to run through everything with the question blocks again, um, with the accessory that helps me find them. But for right now, I just wanna sort of explore this area and talk to people and see what's different. This guy was just here when I got back, so we live together now, aw. I can hear your voice on my side of the room again. <laughs> Uh-oh, he doesn't seem to be too happy about it. It's only fair, you know, it was the Toad's city first. Even though the, the Snivets really did re redesign a lot. Aw, the snoring is actually a huge upgrade for my last roommate. Okay, well that's good. Hork, <laughs> how do you make that noise? Whew. So there's a question block around here somewhere? Aha, right here, right? Yeah, there we go. Got ourselves a nice flower for that, cool. And, what else is going on around here? Looks like we got ourselves a save block. Gonna take that opportunity. I know that there is the collectible treasure we need to buy from the store, so maybe that's the only one I'm missing. The sun is out and all of the toads are back in Shroom City, plus like a hundred sniffets, I guess. 
I guess so. Hmm. See, so looking around, I can talk to you. Aw, oh, you guys found each other, and now you're parading around in your weird hats. Good for you. Yep. Uh, this guy looks a little, oh, he was disappointed because I got the treasure. Ah, I should have just tried digging even though I couldn't read the sign. Is there anything new here? Nope, all right, sorry. I do see that question block up there, we need to get that. That toad with the weird hat is supposedly some big shot professor. I don't really see it. Ah, pardon me. <laughs> Awkward. I heard that smart guy toad with the fancy hat is staying at the hotel here. Ah, pardon me. They're a little gossips, aren't they? We still actually can't get up there. From what I see, I mean, we'll keep looking around. Mm-hmm, just as I suspected. It's super bright and lovely here when the sun's out. They say the sun was sacred to the folks of the ancient Shroom City. And by they, I mean I, of course. <laughs> okay, well, that's cool. Still more toads to talk to over this fight. And we got a question block around. Where exactly, though? Oh, here. Aha, maybe this is how we get up then. All right, well, there's that. We'll talk to these two. It's good to be back and to have my face back. Wow, is that weird that I said the, the face part second? <laughs> I mean, always gotta love your home. I heard that a bunch of toads went to a dance party in a crypt and had their faces punched down. How come I didn't get invited? You already sort of technically have a hole in your face with the, the mask. Anyways, yeah, here we are up here. Oh, there's a toad up there. There we go. I never gave up hope, not even when you passed by without seeing me 347 times. I mean, I, I definitely saw you once, I think, but I just couldn't get to you. Anyways, uh, let's talk to this toad. There's something funny about the grass around here, but I'm too sleepy to investigate it. The grass, huh? Oh. Where exactly? is this question block it's talking about. Huh, weird. It's somewhere nearby. Around here, maybe? No. I could use this to jump up like that, but I don't really want to just yet. Still trying to figure this out. Oh, and look at this, they fixed it over here anyway, so I, I didn't have to worry about doing everything I did. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Uh, hello. Well, Shroom City is really bustling now. Wait, sorry, Sniff City. Wait, I've got it, Shroom City. Well, there we go, there's some uh, mediation. Wait, are you telling me that the, that stall with the giant lamp on top didn't even sell lamps? It did not. It's, it was just the one evil lamp. You might have already figured this out, but you can just walk right through that tent. Yes, I did. Well, I might look through it again, just in case. Can you believe this merchant stall was vacant and filled with some really weird old lamps? I figured I'd take over the business, and I owe it all to you for saving me back in the in in the ruins. Here, take this. Whoa! We got the lamp scam, number seventy. Well, it was good while it lasted, but now I'm out of lamps, so I guess I'll shut it down. <laughs> all right. Oh, um, I guess it's fine that you're inside the shop. You are Mario, after all. And then once again, we can get up here. Not too much going on for us, except for some extra coins. And then can we jump? No. All right. So I, I guess I gotta figure out where that question block is. Hello. It was my idea to keep the lights on during the daytime. It's totally worth it, right? I don't know if it's worth the electricity. So there's gotta be another question block around. I'm so confused by this. Hmm. Cause I don't think it's on this side. Weird. Welcome, Mario. Well, thank you. Ah, Mario, welcome to the Royal uh, Sniff Shroom Hotel. No, no, that's not it. We're still working on the name now that we're sharing. I'm glad that they're sharing, it's so cute. Anyways, yeah, we can't just like jump up here. Which is where, once again, there's a question block around somewhere. This all gets very weird. Maybe it's over here. Aha! All right, boom, got it. And I also know that there's a question block over this way that gets us a pal block, very nice. So there's still more question blocks to find, but for right now, let's go into these different rooms because I haven't yet. And this is where I can buy that one collectible treasure, I think for 14,000. I might be able to restore some other things, but I want to do that next. I want to make sure I have enough money for this. Uh, the Sniff City Royal Hotel will be 13,440 coins. I got it, number 65. Um, and what else do I want here? Probably just another 
a pair of flashy boots. So yeah, how many more collectible treasures are, wait. Oh, I guess I spent 30,000 coins. A savvy shopper like you deserves a special reward. Allow me to present you with, drum roll please, the silver membership card. Oh nice, so we should get even better. Uh, Discounts, gives you a 30% discount on weapons and items in shops, silver membership card. Before you shop, go to accessories in the plus menu and equip that card. If you maintain the shopping streak, I'll bump your membership card up to up to get you better deals. Cool. Well, for right now, let's get to our accessories. And yeah, I guess it's silver now. I already have it equipped, so that works out just fine. But also, that means there's still some collectible treasures, some toads to rescue, I'm a little concerned by that, but I guess I guess we could go into the hotel for now. That might be where some of them are messing. But also these other rooms, I mean, the other one was, well, this is the record room, so this is where maybe the DJ Toad is? No. <laughs> All right. So the party is still going here in the Shroom City Royal Palace. You feeling it, Mario? Woo, woo. The rhythm got me. Do you think there's room for three? <laughs> maybe. This guy, my new lounge chair buddy, is such a character. I've been waiting for someone to share this lounger with me. Aw, that's cute. It's great to be back home. Yes, I live in this hotel. What of it? And hey, as long as you can afford it and you enjoy it. Don't worry, I'm laminated. <laughs> well, the water's not going anyways. Can't talk, dancing. Yo, 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 good to see you again, my man. Hit me with a request. So we can actually request basically everything here. Um, luckily, we've sort of seen it all. But uh, Temple of Shrooms UG, what is that? Well, that's what's already playing. Yeah. So let me switch it around. Let's try a uh, pool party. Yeah, they'll just keep dancing. I don't think anything's really different. All right. Did you hear that the sketchy lamp shop went out of business? Looks like a toad is interested in the space. I wonder what the, the guy has in mind. Well, hopefully something good. Hello. Well, he's got all of his sound discs back. I'm never gonna get to play that set, am I? I guess not. Anyways, was there anything more around this way or something that I wanted to sort of figure out? I don't think so, but if we find anything else here in the hotel, I'll let you know. Oh, here's another sniffet. Feels like I'm never gonna get this place clean. I just wanna party at the pool like everyone else. Aw, wish I could help a bit. I don't know if there's too much more I can do here. It doesn't seem like it. There's nothing going off like, hey, new question block or something. But hey, we'll, we'll go back into the center area. Because I'm sure there'll be something different here. More toads to talk to and stuff. So that would be good. Yep, there definitely is. Hey, buddy. The hotel is going through a reorg, but I was able to keep my job. No one can pace like me. Welcome, I'm new here and I don't have any idea what I'm doing yet. Um, Come back when I'm trained? All right. <laughs> Well, we'll definitely check out these rooms, though, because these rooms will probably have new people in them, right? I'd imagine. Let's try this one. Nope. Okay. Well, that was Captain Toad's room, wasn't it? Or Professor Toad. Let's try this one. Yeah, it's cool to re-explore this and just sort of see what's different. I hear that the pool is kind of crazy seen now that the hotel's under new management. Indeed it is. Oh, hello. The Sniffets really had some good ideas for this place while we were gone. Some incredibly weird ones too. Can't wait to see how this is all gonna play out. Hopefully we can see more in the future. But for right now, oh, here's the Sniffet, We No, tub for tub surfing. Oh, well, this is pretty fun. I'm glad he's having a good time. I don't know if we've already seen him or not, I can't remember. But there's only one more door, and then we'll go up to the main suite, see what else is different there. The new management won't do anything about the racket coming from next door. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sorry. I don't know if there's much I can do either. If he's having fun, I'm gonna let him have fun. Let's go up to the main suite then. I'm hoping we can find the last collectible treasure around here, but maybe not. Some of this stuff might just have to save for later. Oh, there's some toads up here though. Hey, buddy. The eyes follow me everywhere I go, so I'm never going anywhere again. <laughs> All right, not really the most productive response, but you do you. And there's, I guess, nobody up here. Or maybe there, nope, not at all. Okay, so yeah, I guess I will head back out again and maybe go back to Toad Town, sort of figure out what that captain is doing and probably get some other stuff done there as well. Okay, so as you can see, we can just hop down 
Uh, enter the warp pipe, sounds good to me. All right then, so yeah, we'll be going to Toad Town. Haven't been here in a little bit, so this, def this will definitely be fun. And I guess maybe Captain Toad, or Captain T-Oad, sorry, um, should be somewhere around here. Oh, uh, no, he's not here at all. Ah, oh, Mario, we have some new pieces on display. Do please view them at your leisure. I thought he was talking about this. The Super Marino, ancient vessel of the legendary Captain Teode. So where is he? Captain? There's no way he missed it, right? I mean, maybe he's just outside. Nope. Wonder where the captain went. Right now we'll heal up. I guess we didn't need it, but it was good to check. I also need to do, oh, I haven't done this. I need to go to the one area where we can, I think there's like a new sensor lab thing. Um, I'm sure there is, so that's definitely something we'll work on. And we should also go to the accessory shop just in case there's anything new. Once again, not really sure if there will be. But we don't know until we try. I mean, we have plenty of cash right now, so if we run into somebody else who's selling some stuff, that'd be good too. Uh, but he's selling the gold time plus for 4,999 coins. Gives you a ton of extra time to arrange enemies in battle. Of course I want this. Gold time plus, your total is 4,999 coins, ready to buy, yep. There we go. So I think I'll just equip that one right away. So they'll restock in a bit. So our accessories right over this way. So that's the best one we can get there. So hopefully we get some better upgrades for everything else soon. That would be fun. But yeah, I'm glad that we're back to doing well in cash. <laughs> um, hmm. With all that being said, like I said, I don't see Captain Toad anywhere. I'm sure he's by the docks or something then if he isn't around here. So in the meantime, I wanna go down this way and try to figure some other stuff out. If we can do whatever central lab stuff we need to do, that'd probably be pretty good. And here we are. So, Picnic Road. Haven't been here in a while. Hey, buddy. Sensational, I've truly outdone myself this time. Ah, Mario, join me in a little thought experiment, won't you? What if, rather than detect unseen objects, we were to create a device that makes you undetectable? You needn't wander. Feast your eyes while you can upon the lamination suit. Wearing this will make it easier for you to sneak by enemies. Boom, another paradigm shifted. Sure, let's check this out. Hop down that pipe and I'll give you a quick primer on how to work the lamination suit. Sure. Aha, I sensed you'd be back for more Mario. Which of my creations would you like to test? Okay, let's cancel that. I sense wrong, oh dear me. This, this will require some serious recalibration. If you change your mind, our doors are always open for testing. Well, this is already open for testing. Would you like to test the lamination suit? Yes. Because we already tested the other thing. Okay, Mario, let's have you try the lamination suit on for size. Whoa. Do you see, or rather do you not, the suit turned to transparent. Now you'll be able to sneak by your enemies undetected. It's a clear path to victory. There's a Goomba. And he just doesn't see us. Be careful not to bump or brush against any foes. That would re reveal your position. Enemies with sharpened senses will see right through this trick rather than seeing right through you. Ha! Just like the toad radar, the suit's battery will drain rather quickly. Keep an eye on your power. Enough gabbing, time to put this see-through suit to the test. Ooh, wow. So I guess we gotta get to the goalpost. Reach the flag before the battery runs out. Don't get caught by any folded soldiers. Okay, so I have to be extra careful, just trying to pay attention to how the Goombas might be moving around. Oh, okay, so it goes down like that. I guess he doesn't see the hammer just swinging everywhere. It'd be so much easier just to fight our way through, you know? But there we go, that's not the point of the game. The little mini game at the least. So there's that done, not too bad. But we have a whole new course set up. Well, there's the flag. But this one might be a bit more complicated, more than it looks. Yeah, why aren't these Goombas moving? Oh, I can't even go that way, oh, I see. So we can't take the most ah, obvious path, but we can take this way. And there we go, wasn't too bad. Oh, what's going on with this one? Tons of Goombas. 
Oh, uh, so I gotta follow the crowd here a little bit. We gotta join the line. Oh, 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 they're stopping. Are they turning? No, they're fine. So we just gotta do this all the way around. Why even give us other... Stop! Ah, they do walk backwards. Ah, the lamination suit makes you invisible to folded soldiers, but touching them will give you away. All right, well, let's try again. No, do I have to do the whole thing over? Get another explosion free test. This may be our longest streak ever. We're free to advance to the field test of the, for this item as well. As I mentioned in the test, more powerful foes may still sense your presence. Be careful out there. Okay, so we got the lamination suit. So put this on to make yourself harder for enemies to see, but I would like to try again. My work here is incomplete. There are paradigms yet unshifted. So back to it. I'm going back in. So I'm going to try to be real careful because occasionally they will turn back. But for that, I guess we get to sort of stay out here for a second. Like they're gonna look back, turn back for just a moment, just to try to mess you up. And when that happens this time, if it happens this time. Oh, it's not, it's not happening this time. I'm scared. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We, we did it, we did it, yeah! <laughs> awesome, so is there any more after that? You made it through all the tests? It's nice, nice work, Mario. So that's all I wanted to see. I don't know if we get anything special for completing all the tests. My work here is incomplete. Yep, okay, so he's just gonna say the same thing again. That was fun. So there we go, we got ourselves a new ability, and that is the uh, lamination suit. So hopefully if we're in trouble and there's tons of enemies around, and for whatever reason we don't wanna deal with them. Oh, do da dee da Is there another thing now? Visit the sensor lab on Picnic Road to Try their latest gizmo, the hidden block on Hider. You know what, that'll be worth getting. So let's go ahead and figure that out now too. Just gonna hop right back in, hey buddy. At long last, my opus is complete. My work has reached its zenith. My hidden block on Hider will turn nearby hidden blocks into regular unhidden blocks. We've taken this paradigm and hurled it into the lake of progress. Be gone, paradigm. Well, that's good. This'll be nice. Hop down that pipe and I'll give you a quick primer on how to work the hidden block on Hider. Sounds good. Would you like to test the hidden block on Hider? Yes. So for this one, if we fail the test, we might just move forward because I think I get the idea. Are you ready to learn the secrets of the hidden block on Hider, Mario? The device on your head looks familiar, doesn't it? The hidden block on Hider shares this design with the toad radar and it's similar to operate. The device will alert you if and when you are facing a hidden block. So as you can see, it only goes off in the direction the hidden block is. As you get closer, it will give you stronger and stronger reactions. Try jumping right here, Mario. Aha, a hidden block has appeared. Welcome to the visible world, you slippery cube you. When you know you're close, a simple jump or swing of your hammer should do the trick. Like our other devices, the battery is going to run out sooner or later. Just keep an eye on the ma meter. Okay, let's hunt for some blocks. So I guess there's potential spots that could be fun the hidden blocks before the battery runs out. Okay, so I'm guessing right under the, or right over the rows. And then obviously there's one there. Is that it? That's it. Okay, well that one was obvious. Now it's gonna be a bit more difficult. I think it's gonna be somewhere around here. Weird. Um, that's sort of the thing with the question box. You can't guess too much. Like it, it goes crazy right here. Oh, maybe it's, aha, okay, that's something I gotta keep in mind. That just because, there we go, there's one. I'm guessing that's not any too much there, but just because it's going off doesn't mean it's in the air. Sometimes it does, but not always. So there we go, not too bad. And we got one more. This one might be a little bit more complicated. But I'm guessing, oh, there's one here. And then I can use that to get up this way. Only problem is I'm starting to run out of battery. Around here maybe? Aha! 
Is there more? Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Weird. Let me get back up there. We are running out of battery now. I think there's more, or maybe, oh, there it is. That was tricky. Incredible job, Mario. There isn't a block in the world that can outwit you now. All right, we'll definitely be using that eventually once we're re-exploring areas to find all the question blocks if we need it. We have shifted every existing paradigm. Paradigm. A new era of superior sensory apparatus is dawning. You know what to do, Mario. Take this hidden block and hider with you. Find every question block out there. Most importantly, if it explodes, do not tell anyone. I've already sent some rather boastful faxes. All right, hidden block and hider helps you find nearby hidden blocks. So is that all from him? My work is finally complete, so now what? I guess I could find a new hobby? Maybe I'll learn how to unfold origami. I guess so. Let me know how that goes. All right, well that was really cool. Like I said, the last thing I wanna do for today's episode is go to the docks and see if we can't find Captain T. Ode. He's gotta be around somewhere, right? So here we are at the docks. Captain, where may you be? Hello. Ah, there's nothing like a fresh ocean breeze. I need a boat. Yeah, we've talked to him before. I don't know, maybe the captain's not out here. Hey, have you seen the captain around here? Shall we set motor for the great sea? No. Huh. Well, I'll poke my head back into the museum one more time to see if that's something, but if not, I'm very confused. He said he wanted to go get his Merino, and the Merino was sitting there in the museum. You would think he'd be there, but maybe it's because I came through the pipe that, I don't know, something weird like that, right? So let's just go back in and see what's going on now. Nothing. Huh, so I guess that is something we'll have to figure out in the next episode of Paper Mario the Origami King. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.